Hi, I'm Amy Steele with Desert Financial, and I'm joined today with Frederick from our Wills and Trust Department. We're going to be talking about financial powers of attorney. Can you tell me what that is? Absolutely. A financial power of attorney is a very broad document that gives someone a lot of power to assist you with your personal affairs in the event of an un unfortunate circumstance and you become incapacitated, unable to communicate your own wishes. Your financial power of attorney, your agent can help you with things like banking, real estate, uh, retirement accounts, uh, any other investments, and also lending institutions. If I'm married, do I need this document? Married couples can also benefit from the financial power of attorney because it again helps you in the event you, you're incapacitated for things such as any real estate that your spouse may not be on, any individual retirement accounts, and it also helps with government benefits. Are there consequences to not having this document in place? Yes, there are. In the event you become incapacitated and you do not have a financial power of attorney in place, your loved ones would need to start a process with the courts that's called conservatorship. That can take a lot of time and a lot of money. Well, this was great information. Thank you for sharing with us today. Can you give me a quick recap? Again, the financial power of attorney is a very critical document in someone's estate plan as it's going to help your family manage all of your assets in the event you become incapacitated. When executed properly, a financial power of attorney can assist you, your family, and save them a lot of time, money, and grief. You need to start planning? Here's how we get started.